All right, so we got Everywhere, open world game in 2024. Let's get out to the video. This upcoming game is called Everywhere. And this game is being developed by Leslie Benzies, the guy who created Grand Theft Auto games. But now he no longer works in Rockstar Games for whatever reason. They had oh. some kind of a feud. And Leslie Benzies has now created his own development studios. And now he's creating this enormous game called Everywhere. Now, I know okay. that most of you guys might have already heard about this game. And it seems like I have Leslie it. Benzies has given us some more information about this game last night where the entire world was busy watching the PlayStation event where they did yeah. actually reveal some dope games like Spider-Man 2 and Assassin's Creed Mirage, Metal Gear Solid 3 and a bunch of different games as well. Now, what yeah. is this game everywhere? What kind of a game this is? And if any of you guys might have watched this movie called Ready Player One, then you would probably know what kind I've of a conceptual that. game this basically is. And to be honest, though, one of the most ambitious games that you could have ever it's seen hard. out there in the gaming market as of now because from the looks of it what the developers are trying to do here is basically invest a huge budget in a game that basically has everything and you can go everywhere you desire now if you guys have seen the movie ready player one then you would probably know what? that there is this huge video game universe which can be entered through the vr and with the help of that the entire world seems to be playing one particular game and inside of this particular game there are so many different realms that you as players can travel to you can decide to do whatever you want there is basically really? everything that is available and i don't really okay know now that sounds pretty cool this in good words right now now let's just dive into what leslie benzies have to say and he has revealed some information along with a brand new screenshot of one of the inside world that you will get to see in the game right, everywhere now this is what leslie benzies said that there is so much to learn about everywhere let's begin with the eutrophia city eutrophia there is city. going to be a sanctuary free from harm and here you can be yourself hang out with your friends and explore the endless activities that lie within eutropian districts now, apparently it seems like this screenshot that you guys can see is basically from one of the worlds that is so, what, so it's like life with no everywhere. consequences or like eutrophia is supposed to be one of the open worlds that you're going to be experiencing inside one of everywhere and we don't exactly know on if this game is going to be storyline focused or if it's going to be complete multiplayer focused now obviously since it's everywhere and you're going to be connecting with players i'm guessing that the game is going to have pvp battles and a bunch of different stuff like that now moving mm. on further leslie benzies has also given us more information so is it like a he said that you can basically build the world that you desire so you can build anything you want in this game using their arc ada tool which will allow you to build any type of a world that you want. You can build your own Fortnite. You can build your own Grand Theft Auto game. You can build your own spaceship or anything that you desire in the game can be done. And different players you can will build a game inside worlds, of a game. I believe, and then you're going to be able to jump into different worlds. So it's basically going to be one game that consists of everything and you can go everywhere. Now, Mr. Benzies has also said that in everywhere, it can be a race week every week. Test your limits at high speed through expansive biomes and treacherous terrains in the racing so they just district. Put so it anything, seems like every ooh, single sorry. week, the game is pretty much just going to change itself. They just put, so he just put week, everything in the like game? You're going to be playing this huge open world and the next week it's going to be oh, a racing wow. week so every players around the world are going to be racing on a whole new map and the game is entirely going to change and then after that the next week is going to be the art gallery which is going to be filled with secrets and discoverable things and you're are going to be in an entertainment district so why not take a break and explore the galleries so you might get inspired for your next ideas in order to build the different worlds so if you're done with the exploration art and galleries and you're also done with the open world stuff and racing then everywhere is also going to be providing another new world which, which could then come up the other week which is going to be a stressful day which means that you're going to be battling it out with your friends in a combat district where we are now going to be put through wait a okay Hold battles. Up. So the game is basically going to have different worlds, different types of games, different creations, different maps. Bro, different how, locations, how many terabytes is this game, game bro? Basically. So the game basically turns into everything and everywhere. So you can do whatever you want. Go this this game is going to be like 50 terabytes. To be honest, we exactly don't know what this game is all about. So the only thing that we know so far is that it is very interesting. It's super intriguing. And I am so excited to learn more about this. I know 
know the entire world is excited for Grand Theft Auto 6. But Obviously. we need to appreciate the fact that the ex-Grand Theft Auto developer is putting on some very, very high budget video game production right now that I think most of the world need to pay attention to because this could end up being one of the biggest things out there on the gaming history. Which Probably, is you never Leslie know. Benzies ends up pulling out this game and make sure that this game goes according to his vision. And I really hope it does and I hope that the players are going to receive it well. So let me know down below in the comments what do you guys think about this. These okay. are all the information that Leslie Benzies has provided as of now. We will of course get is that him? information is this him? about this. There is so much more coming every single day. I will always keep you guys updated about all the upcoming open world games and basically games. Okay. Here's an... <laughs> Is this him right here? Okay. Here's what I gotta say about this, right? So essentially, in this game, it's gonna be and you're gonna be in this in this utopia world. Sorry, utrobia world. What is your trobia? I know what utopia means. What is your trobia? Is that like the same thing or is it like a I don't know? So basically you're gonna be in this world to where you can do whatever you want. Legit, you can do whatever you want. Now, my thing about that is Obviously, they're not going to nail everything. There, there, there's no way. There is literally no way. And in, in, there's no way. And honestly, if they do, bro, I will give myself a, a, a neck slap, a, a, a cheek slap, a face cheek slap. Bro, I will jump in mud, bro, if I'm wrong about this. But there's literally no way that you... There's no way you're going to be able to do everything. There's no way. There's too many things you can do on this earth. There's too many things, right? So I'm, I'm going to take that as saying that. That when they say that you can do anything. Obviously, there's going to be its limits. Because there's no way your video game character is going to be able to. I don't know. Uh, there's no way he's going to like, you know, so like the the normal stuff like driving, uh, going into a house, sleeping, a lot of stuff that we see on GTA. I imagine that that's going to be in the game. That's obvious. I imagine like, you know, they're going to be able to, like to do fishing. Um, I don't know, bowling, uh, going into a bar, you know, it's stuff like that. I imagine they're going to put all that in the game, but one thing that's throwing me off is that okay once i'm done with this and i'm bored with this with this world you know what i'm gonna go into another world where in this world is nothing but you know just people uh playing teen deathmatch where there's people are just like it's like a teen deathmatch world and then with this world guess what you know what i'm bored with this let me go to another world to where we play just basketball like i like there for me it is it's kind of like I don't know, bro. I don't know. How? 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 Like, how? Like, bro, this game is going to be like 110 terabytes, bro. Like, this game is going to literally, like... Bro, <laughs> you guys know, like, back then, how, like, uh, how like we get, like, a new game. I'm talking about, like, prime PS3, prime Xbox 360 days, right? You get a new game, you put it in your thing, and you're just, like, installing, like, everything, right? Bro, that thing would take like a day and like a half to like complete everything. We all know that. We all went through the struggles, right? Bro, brother, imagine how much, if that's true of what this guy says, bro, imagine how much space. I'm going to need three external terabytes to download this game, bro. And here's the thing. I'm not, I'm not making fun of the game. It's just this game sounds big. It's, it, it sounds physically big, bro. And honestly, I think GTA 6 is going to be, you know, really big. I think it is. Looking at, uh, you know, obviously, you know, there's like a few leaks of GTA 6 here and there of like what it's going to look like and blah, blah, blah. It looks really good. Uh, graphically, it looks really nice. They're, they, you know, they're putting a lot of money behind it, I would assume. It's been almost 10 years. So I, I would assume that, you know, that, the you know, GTA 6 is going to come out just swinging, just like GTA 5 did 10 years ago. But at the end of the day, I feel like obviously I feel like in this game right here is going to take a lot of inspiration from GTA uh, from or sorry, from from Rockstar or from uh, or from Grand Theft Auto. 
Um, and, and obviously, you know, you have an, uh, an ex rockstar employee or an ex rockstar, uh, game developer, you know, that used to work with you guys. And now, you know, he went to go create his own game. This is going to be like a little, uh, like inspiration, I I'm guessing, you know? So, I mean, looking at this, you never know, you know, what it will turn out. You never know. Honestly, the, the game could really strike big and be, you know, the biggest game of the year, you know, but I feel like having a game like this. And then having GTA 6, because I, it's been confirmed that GTA 6 is coming out in 2024. It's been confirmed by multiple sources. It's been, it's been confirmed, okay? GTA 6 is coming out in 2024, and then you have this game drops. And obviously, I don't want to be that, that guy that says, oh, what game is going to do better? No, because I want both games to do good. It's just at the end of the day, bro, a lot of people might not even look at this game. This game might even get overshadowed because of how, and again, I don't know this because I haven't played the game yet. Obviously, it's not out, but of how identical it sounds to like a GTA game. Does that make sense? And, you know, hopefully I want the game to do good. I really want the game to do good, you know, but also is GTA 6 is coming out uh, a big free open world game to where, you know, you could basically do anything, you know. So at the end of the day, I want both games to do really, really, really well. Um, you know, and hopefully this game right here can deliver, uh, when it comes down to GTA six, I have full faith that GTA six is going to be good. Full faith. I don't, I, I listen, listen, there hasn't been a game besides God of war that I, that I have full faith in 100%. Don't, I don't even have to stress knock on wood. I'm not trying to jinx it or nothing, but there hasn't been a game besides God of war that I fully put my trust in. In to think, okay, you know what? This game is going to come out swinging, bro, banging, bro. Let's be real right now. Let's let's keep it clear. GTA 6 is the most anticipated game ever right now. It is. In this day and age, in, in right now, right now, June 27th, 2023. Right now, GTA 6 is the most anticipated game right now. And it has been for a few years. It has been. You could, you know, throw Spider-Man up there. We're getting Spider-Man. We're all waiting for GTA 6. We're all waiting for GTA 6. It's been 10 years, bro. We're all waiting for GTA 6. Everybody in their mom is waiting for GTA 6. We're all waiting for it. And I feel like it's going to do a good thing for gaming. I feel like it's going gonna, it's gonna to make a, a lot of these game developers take a step up. And, and you know, really... And really try to deliver because when GTA 6 comes out, it is going to go insane. You thought GTA 6, but listen, let me tell you something. You thought GTA 5 did something. GTA 5 broke, bit, bro. I was there. I was there, bro. First day trying to get GTA 5, bro. As, as, as a, how old was I, bro? I was what? It came, I was, let me give you my age. I was 10 years old. I was ten years old. I, I specifically remember I was ten years old. I watched the um, I watched the 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 um, the GTA Five ad on the TV, not even on YouTube. I saw the, the ad on TV. I'm like, oh yeah, mom, we gotta go get this. We gotta get this. I remember when I tried to go to GameStop. The whole line, a whole line's there trying to get GTA Six. I remember trying to go to the uh, go to uh, <laughs> go to the GameStop to try to get GTA, and, and you know, and the clerk is like. Hmm, well, uh, this, <laughs> this game has sex, guns, violence, murder. Like, bro, he would lay. Like, hey, I remember that. And, uh, bro, my heart sank to the ground, bro. But my mom still bought us. You know, shout out to her. Um, so at the end of the day, you know, GTA is is is, is so big and, and just so... It, GTA is GTA. Like, it, it's, it's up there, bro. It's literally, like... Everybody, everybody, even people that don't even play video games, they know who they know what GTA is. Everybody know what GTA is, you know. Oh, my Mox Core came out. Don't need it. Oh. <laughs> but um, everybody, everybody knows what GTA uh, GTA is, bro. Honestly, and it's literally the most anticipated game right now. You cannot tell me. You cannot give me a game that is above GTA. That it's like that is the most weighted game. Like, bro, we're, everybody. Even the people that don't like GTA Six is waiting for GTA Six, bro. They are. You can't tell me otherwise, you know. So going back to this game, a game that sounds so familiar to GTA, um, you know, 
obviously, you know, the guy came from Rockstar, so he's going to have, he's going to put what he knows about, you know, uh, about game development and all that, you know, and all the ideas into the game, you know, so at the end of the day, again, I want both games to succeed. It's just, I'm afraid that like, when it comes down to it, I'm, I'm afraid that like a game like this, that is so familiar to, uh, that's so familiar to GTA six is going to get overshadowed. And that is the worst thing. The worst. I've seen games get overshadowed by bigger games all the time. For real. All the time. And, and it's a shame because a lot of these gaming developers, bro, they they, they work hours and hours and hours um, overtime, bro. Like, and, and honestly, you guys don't know, a lot of these um, gaming developers that work overtime, they, they don't get paid for their overtime. So, you know, they, they are literally, it, it's just pure passion just, just driving this thing right now. So... Shout out to all the game developers. Again, I'll give I give the utmost respect for all the game developers because at the end of the day, they're taking the time away from their family, away from their loved ones, you know, just to, you know, drop this game for y'all, you know, and for it to get overshadowed by a bigger game, by a bigger name is, is disappointing, honestly. So hopefully this game, uh, what is it called? Everywhere. Hopefully this game can drop, you know, at a reasonable time. You know, obviously, you know, I don't want them to be rushed because that's the worst thing you could do is, is get rushed, you know. So if they drop it at a good time and then GTA 6 will drop at like a, as a, at a at a different. Just do not listen to any game out there that wants to succeed next year. Do not drop it. D bro, d do not listen. Come here. Get, let me talk to you face to face. Do not drop your game in the same week or on the same day as GTA 6. Do you understand me? Do not do that. That is the worst thing you do. That is the wor hey, that is the worst thing you can do. You better drop it before. You better drop it 2 3 months but listen, listen, as soon as you get the date. As soon as you get the date of of when GTA 6 is dropping, as soon as you get the date, you better tell everybody to drop it. Drop your game now. Drop your game now because guess what? When GTA 6 pops out, that's that's on everybody's mind. That's on everybody's mind. Hey, I'm trying to get GTA 6. Oh, what game are you playing GTA 6? Oh, oh, bro. Oh, you're going to the GameStop? What, what, what you about to get, bro? GTA 6. Oh, bro, what console are you about to get? Oh, I'm, oh, I'm about to get uh, the PS5 with, with GTA 6. Hey, bro, you want to play Call of Duty? Oh, no, bro. GTA 6. Yeah. I promise you. I promise you. I'm I, I'm telling you now. I'm telling you now. I'm telling you now, bro. And a lot of people are not going to believe me, but okay. GTA 6, bro. I feel like GTA 6 is going to... Bro. <laughs> oh, man. GTA 6 is going to break the internet, bro. Promise you. Somebody clip this, edit this, do whatever you want to this. M listen. <laughs> Mark it on the wall. Mark my words on the wall. You can take my words out of my mouth and, and, and just blast it, blast it on the wall. Take my words right now. GTA 6 will be one of the biggest releases of all time. I just said it. I just said it. Take my words and put it on the wall. GTA 6 will be one of the biggest games of all time. Biggest games. When it comes down to success, money, whatever, it's already one of the most hyped games of all time. It hasn't even dropped yet. It hasn't even dropped yet. We was, bro, bro, it was 2017, 2018. We were waiting for GTA 6 to drop at around that time because we all thought the next year, where's GTA 6? The next year, where's GTA 6? Bro, they were on, they could keep stalling into 2036. We're still going to be wondering, where's GTA 6, bro? It's been 10 years. Think about it. You don't believe me. It's been 10 years, bro. And everybody is itching. Itching for GTA 6, bro. It's been 10 years. Imagine that. So if you think GTA 6 not, is not going to be up there, bro, it is. It is, bro. It is. I promise you it is. Think about it. Use common sense right now, bro. If, if, if GTA 6 has been the most talked about game for 10 years and it hasn't even went out yet, imagine... Oh my God! Imagine day one. Imagine whenever the, the 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 GTA 6 trailer comes out. You think that won't be? You think that won't be the hottest video on the internet for like for like a week or two? I think so. I think so, bro. Honestly, 
Honestly, bro, I think so. That's going that <laughs> That is gonna that's gonna shut YouTube down. That's gonna shut Twitter. That's gonna shut everything down, bro. And I'm all for it, bro. And I'm all for it, bro. Man. Sorry to go to that uh that long rant about it. It's just I'm really excited for GTA 6, man. And um, you know, when it comes down to this game, everywhere, hopefully you guys succeed too. You know, I don't I don't ever wish anything on, you know, any any game ever. Ever, promise you, ever. But um, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed my long rant. Comment down below, man. What do you guys think about this whole situation uh, about this game everywhere about GTA Six? I would love to get you guys take on that. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys later for the next one. I'm out and.